boys. I'm just getting back from the John Deere dealer. I just got these two bad boys service. Got the 4440 and 4450 service. And when I rolled in, you should have seen the look on those guys' face. They're like, what are you doing with that Chevy, man? You're gonna destroy that thing. But nope, she made it. Who is that? Oh, uh, that's awesome. What's up? Where'd you get the dually at? I just bought it. I actually traded it in slash bought it. Man, tell you what, that's what I need. That's what yeah, I need. Yeah, no, she's great. She's great. I love it. What year is it? 79? Yeah. Wow. Dang, she's a beaut. Yep. I know. She's an absolute beaut. <laughs> so you said you need some help today. Yeah, well, we're getting going with corn harvest today. It's almost the last day of fall. I need to get this corn out. The only thing is, ah, it just... Something about this g genetics or something in this uh, in this variety, it's just green. It won't get yellow. It won't get the golden corn color. So What the heck? I know. We're kind of screwed with that. But what I'm thinking for equipment is, well, we'll run the 8820. And I got this six-row right. corn head on here. And then right. we can't run we can't, and then we can't run gravity wagons because my grain cart that I bought that the John Deere salesman told me would work won't work the combine won't fit into it the combine auger is too low for the end cart so we're just gonna run gravity wagons so well did you at least give him heck for it i did i did he's like oh well next year when you go and update upgrade combines and come and buy a combine from me it'll work i'm like you should have told me that brother but uh, uh yeah so i just gotta get these tractors unloaded from the k30 and we should be good good night man oh yeah it's gosh dang reagan loader right there heck yeah she did good she did good Gosh dang Chevy. Doug's right. He says when they can pull anything, they can pull anything. Chevy, built like a rock, drives like one too. Yeah, buddy. Built tough. If you want to jump in that. Yep. There you go. Just back her off. I'll guide you, Austin. All right. Keep coming. Yep. There you go. If you want to just pull her in this red shed over here. Okay. I'm going to hop in the 4440. And we'll let her warm up for probably 20 seconds, and then we'll pull her off, this bad boy. We are high up on this trailer. It's a little sketchy sometimes pulling this equipment off. We're so high up off the ground. Okay, we'll put her in reverse. Go slow down there. There we go. Keep going, keep going. And should should be good. Put her in gear, crank her up. And now for the gravity wagons, guys, since we our only run two gravity wagons. We're actually, we have some contracts we have to sell the elevator today. Down in town, which is gonna be a long drive. So I need a tractor that's gonna run the fastest, and that is our brand new 894955, which has tons of horsepower. It's front wheel assist, we shouldn't have any problem. I think for now, just back the 4440 in here. And should be good. But by the way, guys, if you do end up enjoying this series, please help me out by smashing that like button. 80 series is tough. Sometimes it's tough to get views. And by, by hitting that like button, it definitely helps out that. Actually, about those grad wigs, I forgot to mention I have a grain truck, by the way. You do? Now. Yeah. Well, what we could do is we could have, because half the time I'll be down in town selling these. And one of us mm -hmm. will be around the combine. So we could we could use your grain truck. That would work good. We could. Uh, Okay, hold on. Where's it at? Hold on. Come over here real quick. Okay. It's at my farm. Hold on. Come over here real quick. All right. So here's my thought. If, if I'm waiting on you with the grain truck or whatever, I can come dump in here with the gravity wagons, and then you can come fill it up. Over that, here. That'd work good. I think that'd work? Yeah. I'm done. Alright, I'll go grab the green truck then. Okay. I'm gonna get that forty seven fifty I'm gonna get that forty nine hooked up. Alright. So what we gotta do is take this beast, the forty nine fifty five, and we're gonna put it on the gravity wagons. Now also, while we're waiting for Austin to probably to get back, here I'll jump in her. But while we're waiting for Austin, I'm gonna get that Massey hooked up to our disc and probably get tillage ready. Because we need to get going on tillage. Fire up. And guys, now, next year, how it's going to work. Because I said we'd move to 80s, then we'd move to 90s, and then we'd move to 2000s. So next year, technically, next crop season, will be the 90s era. 
where I don't know if I'm going to just upgrade everything to 90s equipment. Obviously, that's not realistic because you can have 80s and 70s equipment in the 90s. Of course, that was really popular. But it now allows us to buy 90s equipment without basically getting made fun of for you guys for saying, oh, you bought the wrong year. But uh, no, it basically allows us to buy 90s equipment and stuff. So and play 90s country music. Heck yeah. Put her in gear. Crank her up. This tractor, this 4955. I want this to stay on the farm forever. I absolutely love this tractor. And I end up, once I use all these tractors enough, I end up saying that about every single tractor. But for sure, one upgrade we'll have next year, next decade, I should say, because we're going into the next decade of the 90s, is a combine. I want to upgrade. Deer has been speculating. They've been putting out, there's been some, some leaks on a couple radio stations about an STS series coming from Deer, which would be interesting. Keep backing her up. Now, first of all, a couple people are going to be like, oh, now I know everybody's going to get angry about ma non-matching gravity wagons. And all I can tell you is some farmers can't afford matching gravity wagons. We'll have to, it's not like I have millions of dollars sitting in my bank account like those Wall Street guys. Some Reagan horsepower right there, baby. 49.55. So this is the truck, Austin? Yep. I am. This is it. She's a Chevy. You like yep. a rock. Okay, so are we going to use... How many... Bushels can you put in this? Ooh, I think about roughly same as a gravity wagon. Same as a gravity wagon, okay. Yeah, just about, just a little more, I think. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we'll transport between these two. That'll work good then. That'll work yep. good. Okay, I'm going to get in the combine and start, start combine. I think we'll start at this home farm here first. And All then right. you can follow me in the 4755 or, or whatever we need to get done. Okay. So, I'm gonna let her warm up. Have a little smoke. Still got the camels Hank gave me. So, we have a ton of corn to knock out here. Now, a couple things. You guys are gonna be like, well, why is the corn green? And I, that's what I, the, the same thing I'm asking. I think we planted like the wrong type of corn. I think there's a. It, somebody was saying something about how there's a wet corn and then there's regular corn. And we planted the wrong corn. So. Uh, that's why it's green still and it absolutely sucks because harvesting I don't know the only harvesting I've seen in real life is all about it's all about that golden corn it does turn golden once you put the combine though if you look here the first corn harvest of 1989 well we got our first load done and she's emptying I'll tell you what this turbo 8820 it's an absolute beast. Right now we're yielding two, look at, look at this. 238 bushels to the acre down there. If you guys can see that, 240, crates of 240. It's all over the place. But anywhere from 230 to 250, it's an insanely good yield. This is crazy. This honestly may be like record yielding corn. Keep pulling up, Austin. Yep. We're on them. How's that 4955 bullet? Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Well, I'm about full with that DMI. You gotta be close, I bet. Yep. Then I'll have to shut her off and you'll have to pull forward a little bit. Ah, she's about full. I gotta pull her in. Pull up. There we go. Let me catch up to you. Yep. Hold her steady. It's a little bit harder with that uh, bad gravity wagon. I know, and my auger is almost touching it. There we go, keep going. I got about 10% left. All right. And I'm clear. There we go, keep her steady, five mile an hour. Yep. All right. There we go. You may have to pull off ahead of time. I kind of screwed up combine up there. Oh, okay. it. Tell you what, Austin. This thing just eats corn, man. I could run at 10 mile an hour. We could probably be running 12 row corn at around there. Okay, we'll have to pull off. I'll pull her in. Do they even make a 10 row? I don't know. But she could handle it. That's for sure. Okay, I think she's full. All right. 
You got her from here. Be careful with that turbo 8820. I'm telling you, you can come on corner at 10 mile an hour if you want to. Awesome. <laughs> I don't think I will. You but wanna... uh, I'm going to go grab that grain truck real quick so I have something to dump into. Okay. You want to Campbell quick? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, here you go. You want light? Yeah, sure. Thanks. There you go. Yeah. There you go. <coughs> okay. Uh, hey, man, I, you can keep going with the combine. I'll go grab that grain truck for you. Where do you want to park? Okay. Uh, just right on the side of the field there is good. Okay. Okay. All right. Sounds good. I got 97.3 in the radio. Don't change yep. it. Doug's a good guy. Oh, okay. yeah. Let's see what this 49.55 can do. So what I got to do is take this down to the farm, go get the grain truck, and we got to actually take this all the way down to the elevator. I got to see which elevator we're going to go to. The old Chevy. Tell you what, this is a neat truck, and you know what? Something I could do maybe is fill the grain truck and then just put the gravity wagons behind it. But I don't know if it'll have enough power to pull those up, up those hills. So I'm going to set the grain truck right here for Austin. Let's run back to the 4955. Okay. We got a full load. Let's head out with the grain train. Put it in gear. We'll shift up. Now I'm curious to see how the 4955 is going to do with all this weight, especially once we hit road gear. I mean, it's got so much horsepower. We should be good. Crank her up to road gear. Get on her. 22, 23, 25. Oh yeah, 32 mile an hour. She pulls her with ease. And here we are. We made it to the Mississippi. Now we're gonna unload. It's right up here, the elevator. We'll pull through there, unload, and then head back to Austin as soon as possible. Cause he's gonna be full. And there we go. They said take this corn over here, this elevator, because there's a different type of corn. She's unloading. We got three thousand dollars from one gravity wagon. We we'll pull up to the second. Now this J and M back here is a lot bigger gravity wagon, so we'll get more. And we got four thousand dollars from the back gravity wagon. Now it's crazy. I don't know if you guys remember watching my FS17 series, but I remember pulling in here so many times in FS17 with a semi and trying to make it out of there because it was a tight turn. And even right here, I, I specifically remember trying to get through here and not be able to make these turns. With gravity wagons, you get done easy. And there's Austin. My gosh, he's running around like 10 mile an hour. A deer. You know, there's a case of advertisement that was Doug was talking about on the radio. And <clears throat> there was like a quote in the magazine. A farmer tried out one of those case internationals. He, and the farmer, and it was quoted in the in the advertisement and it, and it was this f word just eats corn that's like the guy's quote and it made headlines and stuff i could just about say the same thing as a deer you could run 10 mile an hour and she's happy you could run 15 and then she gets a little angry if you run five mile an hour she's just crying she wants you to run 10 mile an hour so it looks like austin made some passes through here i'm gonna follow him on out and see how full he is look at the beast go Man, that's a good sight. Holy crap, combine's there too. Look at her go. So while Austin's going with the combine, I figured I could get the old Massey fired up. And we left her a little dirty. I don't know if we got her out in the summer or what. It got her muddy. But she's a little dirty. And get the Massey fired up. And get her hooked up to a disc back here. So we can at least do some tillage. Jump in here. Wait, wait for the glow plugs. Crank her over. Oh, ho, ho. Put her in gear. Okay, now I gotta fit through this. And I always remember it is a tight fit getting through here. You just listen to the bass with the Cummins in there. Ooh. Grant, you on the CB? Yeah, I'm here. This combine eats faster than a four harvester on Friday. <laughs> I know she does. How full are you? I'm about 85%, but I can go unloading the green truck. Okay, that'll work good. I'm just getting the old Massey. Man, it's been a while since I've heard her sing. I'm getting her hooked up to the disc, and I'll be over there. 
All right. Okay, we got her hooked up. Jump in the Massey. Pull forward over here. So my main thing is, is I'd like to get these corn stalks at least tilled under. I know it's bad with hilly terrain to be running tillage, heavy deep tillage. Some of these, this corn just has to get tilled under. Some of these soils are pretty thick on some of these. Some areas we don't need to till. I totally understand. But these areas over here, we gotta till. So I'm gonna pull around here and then we'll drop her in. Let this come and see. Just unfold her. Go. Get that side unfolded. Drop her down. Here we go. Oh yeah, there she goes. So I'm going to try to cut across a little vertical. This should probably be the best tillage technique I would assume. Iowa State University put out a report the other day about how you should do tillage and they're like, try vertical tillage, see what you get for yields. So I was like, okay, I'll try her. Listen to that puppy sing, man. Look at her go. No good old Massey. Well, guys, I just want to make sure she is working, make sure the Cummins was run fine. Of course she is. And I'm just going to pull the Massey in. And she's ready to go for tillage. That's for sure. I just had too much fun there, and I got a little too much done. We're going to run back to Austin. There we go. Stop her. Shut her off. Well, Austin looks to be full, dumping into me. We're on a roll. We're knocking out this corn quick. Okay. By the way, uh, the grain truck's full now. Okay, I may go take that down. Austin, I was thinking maybe I could just take the grain truck and pull these two gravity wagons down with it to oh, the oh, elevator. Oh, I don't know, bud. You think the Chevy can know. do her? You can try, but if, if you wreck her, she's on you. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we won't do it. It's all good. You want me to pull forward? You got it? Nah, it's good. I got it. Well, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you guys did end up enjoying it, smash that like button. Like I said, this 8820 Turbo, this is how we get stuff done quick. She just ate. But uh, anyways, guys, seriously, thanks for watching 80s. And hey, I'll see you guys later. Thanks, guys.